Okay, welcome to part two of the destructible mesh tutorial. Um, let's just kick off where we left off. So let's uh, select our mesh. Um, actually, no. Let's go to the content browser. Double double click back on the destructible mesh, and we want to go to we want to add some more effects to for for when it um, fractures. Let's 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 uh, make something happen. So we'll drop fracture effects. Let's choose one because I believe one would respond to the preview depth one which is our fractured model and now we have particle system and sound so we can now apply particles to when it fractures so let's just choose uh, explosion and let's get a simple explosion sound going and that's all we need to do for that again so um, let's uh, close that and now when I click simulate I'll deselect um, simulate there we go. We have a sound effect and we have a particle system going with it as, as soon as it fractures as well. So we can um, move that up a bit. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's scale, scale the teapot up. Let's copy and paste it. Scale one down. And let's make a super big one over here. Let's turn that up quite high. And let's deselect it and let's click simulate again. Oh, let's hit other ones. Big ones still coming down. Boom. Very nice. Okay, so let's uh let me show you something we can do in a side scroller. So let me go to my side scroll again. So this is something very simple I've been mucking around with by following the uh, Unreal Engine tutorials they're showing you, with, you know, with the uh, pickup system. Um, now I'm just going to create a simple destructible mesh from this wall. So it's just following the first tutorial. So um, let's uh, change this back to pack damage one default impact. Damage depth to one, that's 25 fracture mesh. There we go, and uh, let's drag this out onto the map now. Let's move this down here. what we want to do is change its collision preset to block all. Now let's go into blueprints and open level blueprint. We'll um, just delete that quickly. Um, start again. With the, the wall selected, the structural mesh selected, we let's call add event collision add on actor hit and let's actually let's uh, right click again add reference to wall and we want to apply damage damage amount let's change that to actually I'm going to do apply damage radius apply radius damage sorry Base damage one, damage radius. Let's just let's just change all these values to one, and let's get a get actor location. There's probably a much better way of doing this, but I'm just gonna quickly showing you what we could do in a level. So let's connect that to the hurt origin, because otherwise we'll get a compile error. And then let's connect that there, and now click compile. It's compiled. Um, let's close that. So let's play the game. Simple. The bits. Now let's say you come to part of a level. Let's move. Let's start again. Let's move that bit further up, so we can see it in the light. But you already know what's happening now. You get to the. Um, you get to a part of a level, and you have blocking you maybe you create a power up and 
you have an iron fist and you can punch through the wall and boom you can now get to the second part of the level okay so I guess that's the end of the, um, the end of the tutorial okay hope you enjoyed it